When you hear the word leadership, what do you think of? Generals? CEOs? Superheroes? Environmental challenges today require a different type of leader, one who listens, engages, and co-creates solutions with others, one who tries to consider all the dimensions of the challenge, however complex, one who is both a thinker and a doer, and committed for the long haul. For more than two decades, the Earth Leadership Program, originally the Leopold Leadership Program, has been training researchers throughout North America to lead environmental projects that both create new knowledge and turn it into action. My name is Pamela Matson, and I served as the faculty director of this program from 2005 to 2017. Over these years, we've identified six dimensions that are critical for engaged, action-oriented work by collaborative leaders. My Leopold colleagues can best describe the value of each one. The first dimension is reflect. Know yourself. What do you care most about? What gives you energy? What is your intention? Reflecting on why I want to help farmers while helping the environment has been really key to my work. I've seen how much our farm has meant to me, my husband's and two sons, my parents, my sister and her family. When we're all on the farm, everybody feels a deep sense of peace and connection. I'm driven to work to try to help preserve this agricultural way of life. Inquire. Try to figure out the system. Who are all the people and organizations that you need to talk with and work with to better understand the problem you're addressing and to help solve it? I realized that natural science didn't have all the answers. Even with the best natural science approaches, I wasn't going to get the best answers because I wasn't including people in my system. But I couldn't treat people like any other component of my model. People's decisions are complex. If I wanted to get the people right, I needed to do a lot more listening and a lot less talking. Connect. How do you establish trusting relationships over time? How do you demonstrate commitment? Use your existing networks to provide openings, introductions, and opportunities. Engage. How can you contribute to a shared vision of the work to be done and then work to make that vision a reality. When I arrived in Iraq, I promised myself I would not become one of the one-hit wonders who sweep in full of Western wisdom and gadgets only to rapidly swoop out. I formed a special bond with my Iraqi colleagues from the University of Basra by confronting my ignorance about Iraq and asking my colleagues for help. I knew I had to find a way to make this connection lasting and meaningful. Strategize. How do you develop from the bottom up thoughtful plans that lead to credible, relevant solutions that will work in the long run, not just the short term. We built a bond of friendship with the priests in Ethiopia. We showed them pictures from Google Earth of the shrinking forests, a strategy that prompted them to work together to conserve their remaining forests. Empower. How can your collaborative action inspire ongoing leadership and transformation on the ground? Reflecting back on my Leopold training, I feel it endowed me with superpowers, a set of skills that gave me the confidence and comfort to lead effective meetings that result in tangible outcomes. I learned to manage large interdisciplinary groups that can accomplish goals and deliver persuasive presentations that lead to action. None of these superpowers are really super. You don't need any poison spider or genetic modifications to obtain them just a clear understanding of the processes and a bit of practice. You've just heard the six knowledge to action leadership dimensions described from the perspective of individual Leopold leaders. These dimensions are equally essential in the context of teams working together. Just as individuals learn new practices to employ these leadership dimensions, high performing teams learn to use them and to harness their collective knowledge and wisdom. We are in a transition to a sustainable future, and the research community has a critical role to play. We will be most effective if we work together, within, and across boundaries. Collaborative leadership is the key.